All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I got a great video for you guys today because I'm gonna answer a very common question that I get, which is something along the lines of, hey Ross, I got a fig tree, but I only can grow it in about four to five hours of sunlight. Will I actually get it to fruit? Will I see success? Will I ripen high quality fruit? Is it a waste of my time? How much sunlight hours or the minimum amount of sunlight hours does a fig tree actually need? And I have always said, I think the minimum is around four to five hours. But I've never really said that with great confidence. Uh, I've seen it with, on some of my other trees where the internal shading, you could say, is maybe about four to five hours. And they still fruit in that lower amount of sunlight, of direct hours of sunlight. And so that was always my best guess. But now I have a plot that is exactly that, four to five hours of direct sunlight here on the east side of my property. Um, and so I've, I've uh, actually now I'm seeing it firsthand for myself that I have the majority of the fig trees in this plot that are now entering their second or third season are actually fruiting and putting out their main crop fruit buds as we speak. This variety here called Hunt Salame, this is Dell's Ermitons, this is a variety called Alex, uh, Prosciutto, Black Celeste, Verdino del Nord, we have another one here behind me called Vagabond that's also producing not just the main crop, but also Brabas. And so this is really, to me, exciting news. I feel really good about this. And I can really encourage a whole group of people that otherwise I would have said, you know what, you can do it, but you gotta be really careful about the variety that you choose. And choose a shade tolerant variety. And I would suggest varieties like Ronde Bordeaux or Hardy Chicago. Uh, LSU Huye was a really good one that I would recommend to people because it just sets the fruit buds, it seems like, no matter what. Um, but now, there's a lot more to choose from, and I feel really good for those people that want to do this and want to grow figs, but they just don't have the sunlight hours. Now, there is one thing I would, I would recommend. If you guys are going to do this, I would recommend a very specific style of pruning that's going to really make or break your success here. Um, I would really limit pruning in the winter time to almost nothing. If you had to make a cut, I would do the thinning cuts that I've recommended in other pruning videos I've mentioned, especially the ones we did this past spring, where you can also read about pruning on my blog, figboss.com. But the, the main kind of pruning I would actually do is actually just removing the apical buds here. At the top parts of the branches, you will see the apical buds. That is just the highest point on the branch, you can see it right down here as an example. This is where the new leaves form and this is where the dominance is. And this is, if I remove this, it's called pinching or topping or nipping or summer pruning, whatever you wanna call it. And I'll do it right here as an example on this Vagabond because it's such a tall tree. And that's what I've seen in the past or in this plot with these fig trees. See how I just removed that with my hand? The growth is so tender. But I've seen in this plot, some of the trees, because we don't have a whole lot of light, we're not really getting a whole lot of branching. These are some really good examples of trees that are just loving this area in this plot and showing their, their flying colors here with this test. But others like Vagabond and Black Celeste, they seem to just have these longer and lankier shoots to them, and therefore they're really tall trees. So to prevent that, all you have to do in the wintertime, or even right now, if you see branches that are long and lanky and they have lots of growth to them, maybe they have larger leaves, just remove the apical buds. In the wintertime, I come around to all the buds and I would just remove all of them and that's gonna force the trees to be more full, more lush, and produce more figs, even in this lower light environment. Um, so that's my major tip right there. Now I will drive the point home a little bit further because I have seen a tree that I have over here that I'm just astounded. I think it only gets about two hours of light and it is actually forming fruit buds on the shadier part of the tree. Now, if you have a tree where you see like the skirt of the tree, the bottom portion of it, it's usually not gonna be very fruitful. I mean, it's just across the board, every fruiting plant I have, it's the same old story. And the fig is really, it should be no different. Um, but if you see here, I've got peaches that are a spy aid. They've been in the ground for many years. You can see it's creating kind of an arch, which then connects into actually a pomegranate, my Salavatsky pomegranate. It's a beautiful tree. It's flowering. It's gorgeous. Really love this plant. 
Um, even in this lower light environment that it's, it's, uh, it's in, you can see there's still flowers on this thing. But what's even more amazing is that there's a, a branch here of a fig tree that I have that is only getting about two hours of sunlight. This is a branch of a variety called Neruciola de Elba. And there is actually fruit buds forming right on in there. And to me, that is just absolutely amazing. I never would have guessed that. I'm sure you guys can see the double dots there. Those little bumps where the leaf stem connects to the main branch is where the figs will form. And it's only really getting sunlight in the morning from this angle. <laughs> and it, it just really is only about two hours of light before the peach tree next to it shades out all that light. Um, and there's absolutely nothing, of course, in this direction for the most part. So I just find um, figs to be a lot more shade tolerant than I thought. It's just another check mark towards the fig of being such an amazing fruiting plant. I would highly recommend you guys try one if you haven't. Now you, you should have some confidence into growing a fig tree of your own, even in these lower light environments. I thank you guys for watching. Please spread the word. Hit the subscribe button for me. Hit that like button. And if you want more fig related information, check out my blog, figboss.com. We'll see you guys for the next one. Take care.